All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Noco Genius uh, 3.5 amp automatic charger. So this charger is designed to be waterproof. You could mount it under the hood of your vehicle and leave it permanently installed. There's uh, wiring you can disconnect from here and here on these uh, clamps so you can do a, a permanent install. But what I've done is uh, added this kind of connector because my motorcycle has one of these for the heated vest so I can just plug this into my uh, motorcycle and charge it over the winter. So one of the drawbacks of this charger is that being it's fully automatic it doesn't work if the battery is completely dead. You can't bring back a dead battery with this. So you, I don't know if you can open this and modify the wiring in it to make it put out power but if you were to take this and just hit the uh, positive and negative together it's not going to have any power on the terminals. It has to detect the correct voltage before it will start putting voltage out which is very annoying so I have an old transformer type power supply that I also use and uh, to open this probably can't see it but there's like a triangle style tamper proof uh, fasteners on here so I'll just turn it on this battery is charged but we'll just watch it go through the uh, various stages as it uh, this comes online so I have a current probe and a voltage probe here. So I just uh, plug this into the wall and we'll see what happens. So you see there's no current coming out of it automatically. It did detect that it's a small battery. It's gone up to 50%. So it looks like what it does is it puts up the voltage fairly high initially to see how much current the battery takes and then it works its way through the process to determine that the battery is at 100%. So uh, this only works in ideal situations. So that's uh, a bit of uh, my beef with this uh, product here. But uh, it works for various types. Like It doesn't have uh, lithium batteries in it. Or it actually does. My mistake. So it has a voltage setting for lithium and uh, different styles of batteries, 6 volt and 12 volt. So that's pretty handy. But uh, you'll always need to have a conventional battery charger around to go with one of these. So just wanted to show you that. So thank you for watching.